Hey everyone, this is Eddie Bucardo from Unchained Athletics and welcome to Smash It Saturday. Today we're going to be going through a 40 minute athletic conditioning workout followed by a 20 minute recovery with our coach Mel. We're going to start off with our warm up in the following seconds. Okay, we're going to start off with A's, knees up. to B's next, which is heels to your butt. Kick those heels to your butt, chest up tall. When you give me shock Next, our C's, knee up, kick out. Next movement is gonna be single leg A's. We're gonna bring up opposite arm, opposite knee. Other leg stay straight. Next, we're gonna do A single A rotators. Good. Next, we're going to be doing is sprawls. So we're we'll down to the ground, kick back, stand up. A modification for this can be down, back, back, in, in, stand up. Next movement is going to be hurdle runs. One, two, three. Imagine you're going over two small hurdles. Lateral hops next, side to side. Next movement is jacks.
balance clocks. So in front of you is gonna be your 12 o'clock, to the right of you is your three o'clock, to the back of you is six, to the left of you is nine. So we're gonna bend that knee. Get into our mobility. So, in a four point stance, palms on the ground, we're gonna do cat cow. Reach it up to the ceiling and down. So, this portion is gonna be a little bit longer than the warm up because we wanna make sure all your joints are properly lubricated and ready to go for this workout. do thoracic rotations right hand goes behind the head you're gonna turn all the way in as far as you can and turn all the way up all right other hand behind your head all the way in all the way up Next, we're gonna do is 90, 90 shifts. Okay, we're gonna open up to the other side. Watch me. Big, wide stance. I'm gonna open up my chest to the back. I'm gonna go down, and I'm gonna shift to the front foot. Let's stay here. Let's do this for about 20 seconds. You might get a pop or two in the hip. That's just gas releasing from the joint. Other side. Okay, let's get you all stand up. We're gonna get into a deep squat position. So break at the knees first, hands aim to the ground. If you have to put your hands on the ground, that's fine. If you can, hold it like this, even better. Let's get you to shift your weight over your toes. Not letting the heel of the side that you're leaning on come off the ground. I don't wanna see this, keep it low. So if you have to brace yourself on the ground, Okay. If not, you can keep your hands here. You put your hands on your knees and add that additional weight. What we're doing here is maximizing our ankle flexibility to make sure we can get the most out of our ankle dorsiflexion so we can jump higher, run faster. Fingers under your toes and butt up.
Okay, grab some water. We're gonna get into our reaction portion. So, we're gonna be going for 30 second work periods. We're gonna chop our feet. If I say to the right, open up to the right, come back right to the middle. If I say left, if I say right, working on that reaction, waking up those nerves, waking up that brain. Okay, ready. Nice wide stance, chopping those feet in three, two, one, and go. Right. Right. Left. Left. Right. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Right. And shake it off. That's your first round. We have 15 second break until round two. Breathe. We have 10, sorry, we have five seconds until round two. Ready. Go. Right. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. And shake it off. Breathe. We're halfway through. Now we're gonna add a little bit of something something here, okay? When I say down, come right back up. I'll give you some time. Five, four, three, two, and chop those feet. Down. Right back up. Right. Right. Left. Left. Right. Right. <laughs> right. I took my cell phone. Down. Down. Left. Left. Down. And break. 15 seconds. Are you awake yet? You need a sip of coffee. You can open the window a little bit, so you can the window, get some fresh air. Ready. Last round. Chop those feet. Down. Right. Right. Left. Left. Down. Down. You have have fun with this one. Last one. Down. Left. Left. Right. Down. Down. Woo! Done. All right. Grab some water. I'll introduce our first series. First series. That was our reaction. We're going to do our first workout now. Now we're going to get into some activation. So we're going to need our hip flexors. We're going to need our glutes. And we need our hamstrings today. So I'm going to have you grab a book or a yoga block. Up to you. Anything that you can use as a hurdle. What we're going to go for. 30 seconds of each movement for two sets. Just going to get these puppies awake. Okay, so what we're going to do here. You're going to bring one knee to your chest as tall as you can. I'm going to pick up my leg, slowly tap it on the ground, let it rest for half a second, then come back over. Don't show me this. This won't do anything. For 30 seconds, and go. Raise up slow, down. Waking up those hip flexors. Other side, chest up tall and over. Okay, 
Okay, let's get on our backs. Let's do hip bridge. So what I'm gonna have you do, you're gonna lay on your back and you're gonna lift your toes off the ground, drive the heels. The reason why we're lifting up our toes is so that way we push through the heels, which you'll feel if you put your hands under your thighs, the hamstrings fire. Doing this for 30 seconds. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna hold that position and we'll do one leg out. Three, two, one, hold it up. Right leg out, bring it in. Left leg out, bring it in. The trick to this is not letting your hip drop when you bring that leg out. Done. Grab some water. Okay, we're gonna get into our B series. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do an EMOM. EMOM means every minute on the minute. I'm gonna set my timer for minute time periods, okay? In that minute, you have to give me six to 10 push-ups, okay? You're gonna do six to 10 push-ups, and you're gonna stand up in a nice ready run stance and give me arm sprints for 40. Don't give me this. That's not an arm sprint or this. Full range of motion. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're gonna get started with six to 10 push ups. In three, two, and one. As you're done those push-ups, you're gonna get it into your arm sprints. Nice ready stance from here and go. Reminder for the push-ups. Whether you do the push-ups on your knees or knees off the ground, hands under your shoulders, make sure your head lands in front of your hands. Not this. Ready? Three, two, one. Round two, let's do it. Six to eight, then 40. Forty, that's round two. We have 30 seconds. Why well, I have 30 seconds. How many seconds you got? easy for you, I invite you to join me to do clap push-ups. Five, four, three, two, push-ups, and let's go. left. Finish up your set. Five. The range 
is six to ten. We have 30 seconds left, 30 seconds left. Last round, best round. What is motivating you? Think about that, okay? It's been a tough couple of months. Let's put it out in this workout. Don't give it all to me right now. We have another 20 minutes left, so. Let's do it. set take as long as you need that was the last round of that right. we're getting to our B series grab some water our B series is gonna be five minutes okay it's gonna be uh, we're gonna do a sprinter lunge we're gonna go for two okay after two sprinters lunges we're gonna do in out taps for ten then we do Four switches lunges, 10 in out taps. So the in out taps are always 10, but we're moving up uh, by two increments of two until we get to 10. Okay? If we have time, if you get to 10 at the end of the five minutes, or before the five minutes, start making your way from the bottom again, two to 10. So, switches lunge. From here, my back leg is gonna step forward. Back leg, you know, up, step, down. Practice that for a little bit. Step up, step down. Step up, step down. Step up, step down. If the coordination is not there yet this morning, it's just from here. Up, down, up, down. So we're doing two each leg. In, out, taps are these. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. One, two, three, four, per 10. All right? Three, two, try for two each leg, and go. for 10. Going for six. Ready. for 10.
Power Weekend. Ten. Once done, ten. Back down to two, because we have two and a half minutes left. Mm -mm. One and a half minute left. Going down to two again, making your way up. All right, as many reps as possible. round I'm gonna give you guys about a minute break give me numbers go in the chat and let me know how far you got did you get up to 10 in the first round did you start the second round get up to six like I did let us know use those numbers as markers as motivation for your next workout or if you haven't do something like this again or with me in the future okay and break get some water get some water this time of day, I rate it. I rate it. We are gonna get into our D series. Okay, our D series is gonna be a little bit of core, a little bit of shoulders, a little bit of triceps. We're gonna do plank push-ups. Okay, we're gonna do 20 seconds each arm. So let me show you. So we're gonna be in plank position here. I'm gonna go up my right arm first. Right arm, left arm, down, down. Right arm, left arm, down, down. For 20 seconds starting with the right, 20 seconds starting with the left. Three, two, one. Right arm first, let's go. Up, up, down. Down. It doesn't have to be fast. Five seconds, five seconds, five. Start with the left hand now. Four, three, two, and let's go.
your left hand. Three, two. Round in three, two, right hand, one, go. into that plyometric circuit. It's gonna be three movements for 20 seconds each. Okay, 10 second break. And then we're doing that for three sets. Okay, the first movement is gonna be knee tuck jumps. Second movement is going to be high jumps. Last one is gonna be a triple, triple hop, land into a lunge. We'll wait 10 seconds <laughs> for this last series of the day. Three, two, one, knee tuck jumps, go. And one, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Jumps, go. Break ten seconds, ten seconds. Let's go.
second intense speed for this last round. One intense speed, go for 10 seconds. Good job, team. That workout was really intense. Uh, thank you, Eddie, for that. Now you are ready for our cool down um, yoga stretch. We're gonna get started right now. As your heart rate is elevated, we're just gonna start by down regulating that breath. And as Eddie mentioned before, my name is Melissa, so let's get started. We're gonna start in a kneeling position. So just bring your left leg forward, right leg will be down on the mat. Your toes at the back can be curled under or they can be flat underneath you, doesn't matter. You're gonna think about slightly tucking your tailbone under. And from here, as we start to down-regulate our breath from that intense workout, I want everyone through their nose and out their mouth as you inhale and exhale. We're gonna do some powerful breaths here. So you're gonna take it in from your belly, from your diaphragm. And as we inhale together, strong breath out. In and out like that and as you do it you'll just gently lunge forward we're just gonna start to get into our deep stretching here we did a lot of tuck squats a lot of lunges through that workout so you're in we're just trying to come down nice and easy as we go back and forth beautiful and from here we're gonna come back to that static kneeling position Still keeping our tailbone slightly tucked under. This time, right hand is gonna reach up over our head. Left hand is just gonna come down by your side. And we're gonna come into a nice side stretch. As you stretch over, you're reaching with that right hand over your head. From here, we're gonna take a slower breath in this time. As you inhale, really try to feel like your rib cage is expanding here. We're gonna breathe in through our nose. And I want everyone to hold your breath for three, two, one, and then we're gonna have a slow exhale through the mouth. And as you exhale, maybe you can reach over a little bit more over your head. We're gonna do that again. Inhale, hold that breath for three, two, one, and then let it go. Beautiful, one last time, take a breath in. Hold that breath for three, two, one, and exhale, let it go. <sighs> Beautiful. Let's come back to center, and we're gonna switch sides. So right leg comes down, left leg comes forward into that kneel, thinking about tucking that tailbone slightly under. And we're gonna come back to those powerful inhales and exhales as we lunge forward. So taking a quick breath in. <sighs> coming back to that neutral kneeling position keeping that tailbone tucked ever so slightly reach that left arm up over your head right arm is just hanging down and then we're gonna come into our side bend and we're gonna slow that breath down so take our breath in really feel that rib cage expand as you inhale through the nose we're holding our breath for three two one and then exhale let it go Maybe you're able to reach a little more with that hand. We'll do this again. Inhale. Hold that breath for three, two, one, and then exhale. Let it go through the mouth. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. One more time. Take a breath in. Full expansion of that rib cage. Hold that breath for three, two, one, and then slowly exhale. Let it go. Beautiful. Coming back up to center. From here, we're taking our hands, bringing them down on the mat, just simply kicking that leg behind us. Curl your toes in. You're going to gently lift knees and then hips, pressing them up and back. We're coming into a downward facing dog. Really thinking here, your palms are corkscrewed into the mat. You're really pressing down with your fingers. You're shifting your chest towards your thighs. Your knees can be bent as much as you need to. We'll start just by pedaling it out, alternating, dropping left heel and right heel, getting all the way through our posterior chain, a nice deep calf stretch, feeling it in your hamstrings. Beautiful. And then we're going to shift forward. We're almost in a plank position. Drop on your knees. Lower all the way down onto your belly. Beautiful. From here, let's bring our forearms onto the ground. We're just going to come up into a little um, sphinx pose. So you're almost thinking of coming underneath, um, like you're coming underneath a fence. So you're Pulling your chest forward and then lifting it up. A nice mini back bend. Keep your glutes and legs just nice and relaxed. And we'll just take a couple of breaths here. In through the nose and out. Nice, even breaths. They don't have to be deep, just short, even breaths. In and out. Beautiful, lowering back down, slide those hands back by your armpits, we're curling our toes in, and then you can press all the way back up to plank, or press yourself up on your knees first, then into plank, let's shift our hips up and back, back into downward facing dog, one more time, taking a few breaths here, in through the nose and out through the mouth. From here, we're gonna get a little deeper into a calf stretch. So you'll, everyone will bend their knees a lot, almost like your shins are parallel to the mat, and then press your heels towards the ground, straightening those legs, you'll feel it in your calves. You can make it dynamic, bend those knees, and then press those heels down. We can repeat this a few times, or you can simply stay in the nice, deep, static, downward dog position. Taking some nice, even breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. We're slowly bringing ourselves deeper into our recovery. Beautiful. From here, shift back forward into plank. Drop your knees back onto the mat. We're gonna get into deeper into our hips and groin. So from this position, everyone take the right leg and extend it straight out by your side. So we're almost in this hip rocker position. And we'll simply take a few moments to rock back and forth. We're just gonna get into our inner thigh a little more, into our groin, just keeping it nice and light here just going back and forth a few times. Beautiful, coming back up into this sort of tabletop position. Let's start to walk our hands a little bit towards our right. So we're almost at a diagonal position um, towards the corner of your mat. You'll feel maybe a little more of a stretch sensation onto your inner thigh, depending on what your flexibility is like. From here, sink your hips back a lot and we're just gonna hold this position. You can maybe even reach your hands out a little further if you wanna feel a little more stretch on the side, left side of your body here, around where your lats are. And we're just gonna take some nice, deep breaths here. So everything about this cool down is really bringing down our heart rate back to normal. So as we breathe in here, we're gonna hold that breath at the top. So take a breath in. We're holding for three, two, one, and then exhale, let it go through your mouth again. We're gonna do this two more times. Inhale, holding for three, two, one, and then exhale, let it go. Beautiful, everyone, one last time. In, 
hold in for three, two, one, and then exhale, let it go. Beautiful. Come all the way back up. Walk your hands back to center. That right leg comes in. That left leg extends to the side. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just dropping the hips back and forth, nice and easy. Couple of hip rockers here. Just getting in to that inner thigh. Starting to get a little easier to get deeper into a stretch. Beautiful, coming back up into that tabletop, starting to walk our hands ever so slightly to the left, and then sink those hips back a lot. You can reach your arms out a little bit further, and then let's get into that beautiful deep breath work. So, inhaling through the nose, we're gonna hold that breath for three, two, one, and then exhale, let it go. Beautiful, let's do that again. Inhale, holding for three, two, one, and then exhale, let it go. Last time, everybody, in. Holding for three, two, one, and then exhale, let it go. Amazing. Coming all the way back up. I'm gonna walk those hands back to center, bringing that knee back in. Let's curl the toes under and come back up into Downward Dog one more time. Pedaling it out, seeing if you've got a little more fluidity in through your calves this time. Really pressing your chest towards your thighs. Taking a nice deep inhale here. And then exhale, let it go. One more in. And then let it go. Beautiful. Shifting back forward into that high plank and then drop your knees back onto the ground. And from here, we're gonna get into our wrists a bit. Eddie took you through a lot of plyometric movements, all those push-ups um, and clapping push-ups. So wrists and forearms are probably feeling it. So we come back into tabletop position here. Walk your hands, start to rotate. Walk your fingers towards your knees. And if you like, this might feel like a really deep stretching sensation right here. You can walk your knees slightly in towards your fingertips if you like, because we're gonna start dynamically just shifting back and forth, getting a little deeper into our forearms here. Be gentle, we're not trying to crank or press through this in any way that feels um, painful for you, but we're just gonna come back and forth, mobilizing the tissue. Beautiful work, everybody. And then we'll come back upright into that table, start to walk those hands back forward. And from here, we're just gonna start to shift and make little circles with our upper body. We're pressing into our forearms and wrists. We're just kind of targeting all the angles of our wrist. We're gonna go to the right a couple of times and let's reverse opposite direction, going to the left a few times. Beautiful work. Amazing. From here, we're gonna get into the tops of our forearms. Now, this move, again, be really easy with it. We're gonna come onto the tops of our hands. So, fingertips are still pointed towards our knees. We're coming onto the tops. Straighten your elbows, rotate. Make sure the pits of your elbows are facing forward. Same thing, you can um, walk your knees in really close if you want. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're simply rocking back and forth a few times really getting into our forearms here. Beautiful. And now if you're able, come back, sit back into that stretch and we're just gonna hold it here, taking a couple of breaths. So as we do, nice even breaths, always thinking about your breath work here, in through the nose. And let's try exhaling through our nose as well. Let's start continuing to bring that recovery breath into our stretching here but just nice, even pace and rhythm with your inhales and exhales. Beautiful. And now slowly, we're just gonna come into a kneeling position. You're simply just peeling your hands up off the mat. Give yourselves a few rotations. Let the blood flow come back, open and close those fists. Maybe shake them out a little. 
and that'll start to feel really amazing for you. From here, we're gonna come all the way down onto our bums into a beautiful 90-90 position. Eddie brought us through some great mobility work at the beginning of class, so we're gonna have some of those same movements here into our recovery. So I have my right leg pressed forward, left leg behind me. We're just gonna lean forward. Hands will be on sort of opposite side of your knee, thinking that you're sitting tall, leaning over, length in your spine, and you'll find where you prefer to stretch. You can keep your chest straight over your thigh, you can come slightly outside of it or slightly inside of it. See what feels good in your body today. And we're just gonna lean forward till you feel a good stretching sensation somewhere on the outside of your hip and into your glute muscles. And we're just gonna take a couple of good breaths here. As you fill up, if your belly is pressed against your thigh, use that as a, as a tactile cue here. Breathe in deeply through your diaphragm as you fill up. Feel that belly press into your thigh as you inhale. And then exhale, let it go through the nose. And just keep repeating. Nice, full inhales and exhales. Good work, everybody. Beautiful, walk yourself back up with this back leg. Pull your heel in towards your bum a little bit more. We're gonna lean over onto our elbow, onto the side. You'll feel maybe a bit of a stretch sensation on the front of your thigh here. And from this position with that hand, you're just gonna reach up and over. And we're gonna come back to that breath where really try to fill that rib cage up as you inhale. And then let it go through the nose as you exhale. pressing yourself back up and we're gonna switch sides so simply bring that left leg forward scoot that right leg behind you we're back in this 90 90 position again find your hands on opposite sides of your knees and figure out where your line of tension is as you lean forward thinking about nice length in your spine finding a nice stretch position into your glutes or hips everybody's mobility is a little different some people might get right down on towards the ground others might only move an inch or two and get into that breath work fill your diaphragm up feel your belly press against your thigh as you inhale and then exhaling through the nose letting it all go good last couple of breaths here and then walk your hands back up and we'll do the same with that back leg you're scooting that heel towards your bum we're now leaning to our side down onto our elbow till you feel a bit of a stretch sensation in the front of that thigh and then reach that arm up and over and we'll do the same thing in through the nose and out through your nose filling that rib cage up feeling all those tissues expand as you inhale Last breath here. Good. And then we'll come all the way back up to seated. Turn yourself all the way around so we're in this seated position. We're gonna slowly come down onto our backs here. Your knees will stay bent with your feet flat on the mat. With your right ankle, we're gonna come into a nice figure four stretch, bringing that right ankle over your left knee. You're gonna lift that left leg up bringing your arms around, grabbing the back of your hamstring here. And keep your arms and shoulders as relaxed as you can. Same with that left leg, just let it hang. With this right leg, you're going to try to press this knee away from your face. So it's kind of a little bit of an active stretch. Hopefully you're feeling it on the outside of that right hip. You want to take a couple of breaths here. If you want with your right hand, you can always try to um, help press that knee away on the inside of your knee and just hold on to your left thigh with your left hand. Totally up to you. Beautiful. And then drop that left leg back down on the ground. Arms will simply just come on to your side, palms down. From here, walk your left foot out, even just like a couple of steps. 
we're going to start tipping our hips and legs all the way to the left. You'll come back to center, and then you're going to tip them all the way to the right. We're just going to go back and forth nice and easy here, just getting a little more mobilization in and around our hips and glutes. And again, just going with your breath here, in and out as you move back and forth. Beautiful. Release that leg and let's switch sides. Bringing that left ankle over that right knee and then pulling that right leg towards you. And again, trying to think about pressing this left knee away from your face. Taking a few breaths. In through the nose and out through the nose. Beautiful job, everyone. Good, from here, lower that foot back down. Step that right foot, maybe one or two steps towards the right, your palms are down. And same thing, we're gonna drop our hips all the way to the right, and then back to center, all the way to the left. And we'll just go back and forth a few times. All the while, moving with your breath. Don't hold your breath in, in any of these movements. Good, back to center, release that leg. From here, we'll come all the way onto our side. And our last two little movements, you're going to protect your head with your right arm. But with this left arm, we're just gonna circle it up over and come into a nice reclining twist here. And from here, let's all just take a nice big breath in through the nose. Holding our breath for three, two, one, and then slow, long exhale, letting it all go. Beautiful. And then we'll come back to center and we'll switch sides. You can simply roll over. I'm just gonna turn over so I'm still facing you. Have that left arm protecting your head, knees stacked on top of each other. We're gonna sweep that arm up and over, coming into a reclining twist, same thing. Deep breath in, filling that rib cage up. We're going to hold that breath for three, two, one, and then exhale, let it go. Beautiful. Coming back up to center. Press yourself up into a seated position. We'll just take one final breath together before we end our class. Your eyes can remain opened or closed. And let's just think about it. as we're breathing in, filling up our belly, diaphragm, rib expansion. In together, hold that breath for three, two, one, and then exhale slow, beautiful. One more in, holding for three, two, one, and exhale. Good. All right, thanks for joining the workout, everyone. You smashed it. Hopefully, you get out now and enjoy your weekend. Celebrate with a smash.